On today's show, a special guest host, born and raised right here in South Lake Tahoe, Austin Costanza of Tin and Toe Photography. Thank you. <laughs> Blending photography with art. That's what we do. It's amazing. You're going to get to take a quick look at that. Plus, we're going to be talking roller derby, concerts, and your weekend wrap-up from last weekend, which was out of control if you're around here. Was there any sand left on the beach? I would say not. No. no. It Pretty was busy. completely covered. Yeah. Guys, good opportunities. <laughs> Good morning, Tahoe. This is your weather being brought to you by Getaway Reno Tahoe. Today we're looking at about 69 degrees and a little bit of chance of isolated thunderstorms, 40% chance of rain today. Tomorrow it's going to be about in the mid-70s and a little bit windy on Wednesday, but you're looking at highs of 70s throughout the weekend. So it's a great time to come up to Tahoe and enjoy the outdoor activities. Coming to you from the 12th floor of the Mont Blue Resort Casino and Spa on the beautiful south shore of Lake Tahoe, this is Wake Up Tahoe with Drew Murin. Wake Up Tahoe is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Hey, good morning and welcome to Wake Up Tahoe with Drew Murin. A busy weekend here in Lake Tahoe. I was down in Santa Monica for the weekend, so Adrian and Jack had to soak up all the festivities. We had derby action going on, we had concert action going on, where the beaches were packed. It was like sardine cans out there. People just lined up. They said 4th of July was usually busy. I think last week was busier than any 4th of July we've seen. So my guest host today on the show, Austin Costanza from Hello, Tin and Toe man. Photography. How you doing? Great. How about yourself? Man, you outdressed me today. <laughs> no. Yo, not you, at all. Yeah, Looking I mean, got the good toe, got the pocket square. <laughs> there man you got it going on so hey we're gonna take a look at some of your photography coming up that'd be great pretty exciting yeah. local boy born and raised right here in south lake tahoe this is true yeah oh, that's pretty cool so Definitely. now you're out doing bigger and better things just got back from la Trying. yourself yeah i just got back from la worked with a few agencies down there kind of learning the ins and outs of like how the modeling and uh, acting careers go down there so i'm back for the summer just trying to you know work with other people in the community trying to find other artists who are willing to coll collaborate on like a bigger picture all that fun stuff. So when you're down in LA, how does it compare to South Lake Tahoe? Pretty much very similar, right? Um, I'd you know? say it's actually a lot different. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's all about like in Tahoe, it seems like it's all about like who you know and yeah. like rather than like what you know. I mean, of course that also goes for LA, but um, it's just like trying to like find the people that you need to know. It's like, it's kind of like a weird game. Like up here, I feel like I already know most people. So I'm excited to be back with the people I know and hopefully collaborate and make better, you know, products at the end you know pretty cool to see a south lake tahoe boy doing what you do we're going to take a look at some of your work here coming up but first great. of all how would you describe your work because it's um, much different than anything i've ever seen before <laughs> thank and you I, people always ask me like how does he do that well we really um are we what we try to do is really like capitalize on individuality and we try to um find like everyone has like their own individual like um type of personality to them we try to find that like uh, like and try to Try that. Try to find that manner huh. and transform it into art. So we like really um, like crazy hair, like tattoos, or just like bright colors, or like we like doing like if you're into like some type of art, like we try to like um, painting. We'll try to incorporate that into the photo, or like just kind of like nature. We'll do things outside, like night photography. Just kind of make it a little bit crazy, not so like natural as like normal photography is. That's what's cool about it. It's, it's totally different than anything I've ever seen before. Yeah. So you like you take a picture of me, and then all of a sudden it would be like my shirt's like bright, or <laughs> the animal in the back is like well, totally yeah. apparent. Well, we tr I have like a team. It's kind of um, I do a lot of the photography, and then I have a partner, um, Mike, who's toe. I'm tin, tin and toe. Tin and toe. <laughs> and he um, does a lot of like the creative directing, kind of like directs people on like how to pose. And then we have um, a stylist that works with us, Jose Gomez. He's really good at getting like. Just like even if he like looks through the models like clothing, he's really good at putting like a crazy outfit together that just like complements like the background, the, the model, just like everything that's incorporated just makes one beautiful picture in the end. And is he local? He is also local as well, actually. So. How cool is that? We're trying to get Jose to work on me. We'll have show. to have him come in. For Can you have him day. come in for Definitely. a console? <laughs> he's, probably, he's probably like this guy is 
<laughs> we can't help this guy. We <laughs> nah. just can't help him. You know, that's such a neat thing. I, I think a lot of people don't understand all the talent that we have around the Lake Tahoe area. I definitely like, tin and toe. And I think everybody's wondering out there, as well as I am right now, like, Tin and toe, like how did that whole name come about? It's like tick tack. <laughs> you forget the tack and the toe. Well, actually, um, growing up, my sister has always called me Tin, and um, Mike, his sister, always called him Toe. So I don't really know how it came to, to, together one day, but it just kind of stuck. <laughs> so I'm Tin, he's Toe. I mean, it kind of sounds good together. I, don't know I think it place. sounds fantastic. Yeah, thank you. They're probably asking for a little, a little kickback. The sisters, right? <laughs> they haven't said anything yet, but we'll <laughs> they're see. probably okay. When you guys make it big, yeah, <laughs> we owe, you owe us some money. Hey, Jesse Kalen. Jesse Kalen, Cool Black Kettle, comes on the show from time to time. He will be having a CD, CD launch party tomorrow night at Harris. So come to Cabo Wabo. That's where we'll all be for his release party. That's going to be at 830. I'll be hosting the event, so come on down. Check out his new CD. He's going to put a brand new band together and going to be launching it there. So that'll be exciting. Another local artist Very who nice. gets out to L.A. and does his things like you guys. Awesome. And... Then also, the concert series keeps on going in the Heavenly Village as the one and only jazz group, which I don't know about you, but I'm a big jazz fan. I do like jazz. Something about yeah. those saxophones, those <laughs> trumpets, you know. It's like a battle on stage right now. But we have a great jazz band coming on the stage Friday night in the Heavenly Village. And I can't, I, I, I can't tell you how excited I am about that. We're going to talk more about that coming up. But also, the Rum Runner Cruises are just going out. Like, they're going out of style over there at Camp Rich. I don't know if you've ever been on a Rum Runner Cruise. I have not yet, unfortunately. Soon, one day. It's, not quite 21 yet. You're not? Nope. How old are you? I'm 20. 20? Okay. Yeah. Got another year. Well, when you get your ID, you this that this is something you have to do. I will be there. You could walk on yourself, <laughs> but they have to help you off. I believe it. That is a sign of a good cruise. They're going on over there at Camp Ridge. You can take the Rem Runner out and enjoy as many of those babies as you want. It's like a slushy machine. <laughs> you know right what I'm saying? Here. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> so we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with Austin from Tin and Toe Photography, and we're going to take a look at some of your work right now. Awesome. And then when we come back, we'll talk about it. Sweet. And we're going to talk about what you can do with this. <laughs> Probably not a lot. We'll be back. Listen. to the show we just took a quick look at some of your shots i'm sure there's thousands and thousands of others out there that we haven't seen indeed but boy neat array thank you very diverse appreciate that actually most of the um models in that show are uh, local models as well local students and other uh, models like aspiring models um who are also very creative and have their own talent that they throw into the picture that makes it you know something unique is that what it is, like working with the personalities in front totally. of the camera yeah. so it kind of complements? Yeah, it's not just like we just tell you what to do. It's um, it's really a group collaboration, um, uh, with especially with like my team, like styling everyone, moving people. But we also get the models like um, what they think they should do, like what they want to do, their ideas. Before actually we even like begin a shoot, we'll actually talk to them and see what ideas they have and kind of go over um, – like things they want to do, what inspires them, and then try to somehow incorporate that into a final product. Well, I'm going to tell all the viewers right now, become 
best friends with a photographer <laughs> because they hang out with bottles all the time. It's a lot so, of fun. <laughs> that stack of business cards I gave you, take care of me now, Austin, okay? Will do, will just, do. By the way, this guy, he's, he wants you on his show. <laughs> yeah, just kind of do that work for me, will you? Definitely got your back. There, there, there'll be a kickback like your sister, you know? Ah, uh, right. Give you the kickback uh -huh. for it. But, uh, <laughs> fantastic. What's some of your favorite places to shoot around Lake Tahoe? Um, well, it's, Lake Tahoe is beautiful, so really everywhere is amazing. Um, what we recently we just shot inside the giant hole by the casinos, which was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was uh, crazy because you know usually you see that from above and it's like an ugly type of landscape. Like you see holes, you see like graffiti, you see like trash everywhere. But we went down there and it's actually like really beautiful. Like the way that the the bars are set up, like mm -hmm. it's just. Um, really cool and so we had a model go up there and we like dressed her in really awesome clothes actually from apricot lane we're trying to work with other businesses in town right now and then we just had her it just had her do fun things just kind of like she like pulled on the rebarb a little bit or like like held herself like weird or like, who was the model um liana pike her name is yeah. yeah she's actually another local in town a really awesome girl a lot of fun to work with what other local models have you worked with um, one of my favorite girls I've worked with is Leah Jackman. She mm. just actually just graduated from the high school. Um, we actually mentored her for her senior project at the beginning of the year. She was a lot of fun to work with. She's very unique, awesome hair, awesome personality. Um, we've also worked with like Gracia Aguilar. I believe she's been on the show. Been before. on the show. Um, Ashley Wallach, another great friend of mine. Um, really awesome girl to work with. Um, we've worked with just like really a lot of people in town. We're always looking for new people to work with as well. It's a lot of fun to get someone else's personality and transform that into art. Well, you were talking about Apricot Lane, and that's Gary Castile's mom. Oh, yeah. Who is one of the sponsors for the Heavenly Village concert series. Very nice. So uh, yeah, that's neat that you support all the local businesses Definitely, and get them all out there. Now, yeah. Adra's in the back here with her hand up. I think she wants to be your next model. <laughs> Definitely. I would love that. Yeah. It would be a lot of fun. We can make it work. See sure. that? Well, well we're going <laughs> to keep it tuned here. We want to see what you can do with Adra. Well, so if we were to take a picture of Avery, what would we do with her? Uh, we can get crazy. She yeah. seems like a really awesome, personal person anyway. Like, yeah, she's pretty awesome. I don't know. Maybe do some roller derby kind of fun stuff. Roller derby. Edgy. <laughs> you ever thought about shooting roller derby? I would love to. I mean, okay. it would be a lot of fun. Um, I really want to work with, like, everyone that's um, creative and talented in the community. I mean, there's always a way to, like, transform it into some type of fun, creative art piece. That's what's cool about it. Taking photography and blending it with art. Very exciting. Hey, the mail room is opening at Mont Blue Resort Casino and Spa on Saturday. It is a mail review show. <laughs> yes, it is coming out. It'll be every Saturday. It'll be appearing at 7 o'clock inside Blue Nightclub. So this is a pretty exciting time for a lot of ladies out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but you call, yeah, bring a mail review show in. All the ladies have to show up. Therefore, Drew with you raised his hand. <laughs> and I will be hosting the mailroom at Blue Nightclub on Saturdays. I don't know what I'm in for. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what I'm in for. It could get out of control very quickly. I might be held, held out of there in handcuffs. Who knows? Oh, God. Sounds interesting. You're going to be crazy now. Literally in handcuffs. <laughs> and I'm talking about the good kind of handcuffs. Everybody else, are, we're going to arrest them. No, I'm talking about those furry ones, baby. I want the furry ones. Oh, you know, God. the bachelor party ones. <laughs> the bachelorette party ones. Not the bachelor party. The bachelorette party ones. You know, the, the baby, you know those little penis straws hanging all over. I mean, it'll, it'll get out of control. Have you oh, ever my. been around a bachelorette party? I've kind of. Not too much. You are going. I'm signing tin and toe photography up to shoot this thing because... Okay. It'll be something could, new for us. Could you imagine the artwork uh, of a bachelorette party? I imagine I said mail review show it would be quite edgy I would Austin call it. you don't even know what you're in for yet. I it, really it, don't it is gonna get out of control at blue nightclub I I don't I don't even know what to say I mean they're gonna have to hire extra security because these girls are out of control but the mail room will be opening 7 p.m. and it'll, it's a 7 p.m. start okay. I guarantee by 7 30 the girls won't be able to walk yeah it's gonna be a long night did I say that right Oh, man. Anyway, mail room, <laughs> mail room opening up this Saturday night, 7 p.m., and then you can just stick around and hang out for Boogie Nights. So that's going to be the whole call there. And we want to thank John Chevalier for his little musical piece there, seeing some of your photography. And if you want to see more photography from you, where do they go? Um, you can check out our newest website. It's actually www.tinandtoe.info. Um, that kind of just throws us to our portfolio, and it actually links to our blog, which is www.tinandtoe.com. And if you want to be photographed? Uh, send us an email, <laughs> actually. I mean, we're really looking for more people. I would love for that. Adrian's sending you an email as we speak. <laughs> we're going to take another quick break. We're going to check on Helena and the Bear, which opened up for our Heavenly Village concert series. We're going to take a look at some of their music here momentarily. And then when we come back, we're going to talk more with Austin and also what's coming up this weekend. So stay with us.
Welcome to Fabulous Lake Tahoe, your local's guide to the very best of America's year-round playground. I'm Jack Durst, and I'm here for the Heavenly Village Concert Series yet again, this time with Helena and the Bear. Check it out. Well, they'll eat you alive Let my deep dive in your deep red sea Like destruction's creed I follow the priest To the depth of his greed A vision your prison You're gonna bleed me call ourselves Helena and the Bear. So how did you guys meet? Oh uh, well Adam came to uh, try to play drums for a band I was in at the time and then we realized that uh, we connected really well um, musically so we just kind of formed a duo. How long have you guys been playing together? <clears throat> About two years. About two years now. Now what kind of music do you play? Well, we started doing um, only originals in the beginning. Uh, I would call it folky, indie, acoustic. And then we kind of started in with the covers, so. So, stay tuned to Wake Up Tahoe. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you, and keep Tahoe blue. Bye. Welcome back to the show. Got a little out of control there on that bachelorette <laughs> party. But honestly, if you've ever hung around bachelorette parties like I do at Boogie Nights <laughs> on Saturday night, you would totally understand what I'm talking about, Austin. I can understand. You want me to sign you up? Uh, yeah. Put you on the guest not? list? Might as well experience it. You're done. You're done. You're on. You're <laughs> see on. See you there. Yes. Saturday night. Austin, the new male review guy. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Got to see your moves. Add it to my portfolio, you know? That's what I'm saying. It's, Why it's not? good for the resume. Yeah. Male review. You know, they look at that and go, so what have you done? And you're like, well, I've been a male review guy. And they're like, <laughs> oh, good. <okay>, yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, congratulations <laughs> to Stephanie, the new owner of Etch Salon, the newest salon here in Lake Tahoe. Oh, a Paul Mitchell salon just opened in 1008 Second Street. Full cuts, styles, makeup, wedding packages, and more. Nice. They'll even bring a mail review guy in to do his little thing while you're getting your hair done. All right. Now, you know, they do that in Reno. Where I go, I go to this one place. Not a mail review guy. They bring the male, the female review girl in. Uh, you know, kind of just to take, just to pass the time. You know, when you're watching them. <laughs> so, so that can happen there. Congratulations to them, though. Edge Salon, that's where Adra goes. Yeah, look, does your hair look good? Looking Looks good, good yeah. It? Where do you get your hair done? 
Uh, you know, actually, I let Mike do this, my uh, partner. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to get a look like this at a natural salon. But how long did it take to have to get my hair out to that that long? You know, actually, it took about a, a year or so for it to grow this long. What if I go on those prenatal vitamins? You think I can? You know, cut that it down can, six I've months? heard that helps. Actually, <laughs> it should grow a little bit quicker that way. <laughs> it should. But if you're looking forward to celebrity golf like we are, Michael Phelps is going to join the American Century Golf Tournament. I don't know about bringing in a swimmer to golf. It is quite it's like, different. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, but we'll see. Yeah. It, it, he could be charged with a assault with a deadly weapon, like that uh, one basketball player was last year. Michael <laughs> Jordan and Roger Clemens will not be there this year. Michael Jordan having to uh, absorb some other issues, such as the Bobcats sucking. So <laughs> that is the team he owns. Unfortunately, they're not that great. So he's working working on that. Also, the summer carnival will be June thirteenth through the sixteenth at the Sweet. Horizon back lot. There, uh, if you can get a two for one wristbands for just $25 at the gate. That is super exciting. And I'll tell you what, I want to take a moment and congratulate Jack Durst at Fabulous Tahoe, celebrating six years of marriage. Yes. Yeah. And happy. Very happy. You know, a lot of people can say, I haven't been married for six years, but they're like, oh. <laughs> but Jack's like happy. He cares a smile. It's fantastic to see that in your America these days. Definitely. So, any plans to get married anytime soon? No, not in my future. Not that I know of. Yeah, me I'm neither. I'm trying to kind of stay away from that for now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You're, you're pretty, yeah. It's hard. It's yeah. hard. I, I understand that. So, awesome. What's next for you? Um, you know, I'd really like to, well, I have some goals this summer, because I'm going to be here for the summer. I would really would like to uh, try stand-up paddle. It's actually on the top of my list. I've never done it before. It looks like a lot of fun and a great workout. Um, definitely need to hike some of the Tilak. You know, full moon Tilak adventure is like a must every summer. Everybody talks about that. You have to do it. It's amazing. I can barely hike in the daytime. These people <laughs> are going at nighttime. It's better, though, because it's not so hot. You know, the moon, oh, a good nice point. lighting coverage, you know, it's great. And yeah. then what if you get lost? You know, it happens. It definitely happens. It's happened to us before, but uh, hopefully you find a trail and you get down <laughs> safely. <laughs> well, that's exciting. So stand up paddling, you know, Wednesday night, Sup Series, Capit in El Dorado Beach. Definitely going to make it there. This, this week? I would love to, yeah. I will be there. I'm writing you down. Right? This week. Ten and toe. Oh, ten and toe will be uh, <laughs> That's Wednesday nights here. 5.30 is the start time. They had 65 competitors. Now, I say competitors, nice. but it's just kind of like a free-for-all. Good, the yeah. weather's fantastic. The food's good. You get out. It's like a big old community event. So hopefully we'll see everybody out there this week. I want 100 participants. That could happen. Let's make this bucks. happen. That's right. right? Ten and toe. Totally There's two. Worth it, right? Two more. You guys yeah. ever thinking about adding anybody else to ten and toe? Uh, I mean, we have group that helps us, but we are ten and toe. It's ten and toe. <laughs> and then um, also, if you're thinking about this summer... There's tons of summer activities because Harris Outdoor Concert Series is getting ready to fire up. And who's I mean, have you seen the lineup lately? I've seen a little bit of the lineup. It looks really great. Who are you excited about? Uh, I definitely want to go see Fun and Tegan and Sarah. That seems epic. I have to be there. And then um, Dave Matthew band, Matthews' band seems really awesome. Not a country guy. Not too much of a country guy, no. See, I'm a big Tim McGraw, Brad yeah. Paisley guy. I mean, they're all right. I mean, I'll, I'd like to go see live music, but... Yeah. We'll see. We'll you know, see I don't, I'm not really going for the music. I'm just going for the country girls. Ah, uh, I knew that was your see? sign. That, yeah. Country girls start drinking, and then they are the most fun you could ever have <laughs> on two legs, standing up or laying down. Um, uh. <laughs> also, we want to give a big shout-out to our new Twitter follower, J.D. Roberto. He says uh, he's the host of the next great family band and nationally syndicated better talk show, parenting, fatherhood, relationship writer, diver, music lover, and wine drinker. Diver, music lover, and drinker. That's what I want to put on my resume. What do you one. do? I'm a diver, I'm a music lover, and I'm a drinker. I wonder how that would uh, look out there. Um, Maui Gym, we're going to do our local love at a Maui Gym sunglasses because here at Elevation, which we are like 75,000 feet, uh, you're closer to the sun. So therefore, the sun like shoots through you and turns you oh, translucent <laughs> unless you wear sunscreen and sunglasses. So really, They're I mean, necessities, the Necessities, definitely You know what I'm talking about, oh, Austin? for sure. Don't leave the house without my sunglasses. Seriously. You don't, mm -hmm. you don't want to because, I mean, seriously, it'll burn your retinas. Oh, for sure. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> practice wearing good sunglasses. In Maui Gym, I was down at an event in Santa Monica hosting a paddleboard event down there and they are such a strong supporter of the beach cleanups down there and so this year they're going to be at race the lake of the sky which is coming up in two weeks if you you know like most americans you could start training for that race oh yeah yeah today uh, we'll and, see. Then, and then in two weeks you'll be a professional uh -huh. or proclaimed professional <laughs> like a lot of snowboarders around lake tahoe and then you could actually compete in the race hmm. <laughs> what do you think uh I could give it a try <laughs> i love where your head's at there austin no, it, it's, 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 we're, yes. 
Austin from Tin and Toe Photography. We're going to sponsor him. Wake Up Tahoe is going to sponsor you. There we go, yeah. You have to still buy all your own stuff, but we're going to give you a sticker. We're going to put a sticker on your shirt. Sticker. It'll be like a, 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 a really well-branded jersey. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. And we'll talk about you a lot. You know, like, Tin and Toe Photography, Wake Up Tahoe sponsored right there. You know, we might even give you this desk. Maybe you Ooh, can just ride this, this desk nice. around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll just make this into a real-life paddleboard. But, hey, congratulations on all you've done. Thank you. I appreciate you guys' support on everything. What's next for you? Uh, really just really want to start working with more of the um, like bands and like other artists in the community kind of just trying to you know grow everyone together get our name out there and you know create ama amazing epic art that's what's cool and if you do want to get photographed email tin and toe photography at um, it's info at tin and toe.com and just follow on Facebook yeah Facebook that's what slash I do. tin and toe always cool stuff coming up stuff. on Facebook yeah oh yeah always like add our new stuff up there that's where you'll see the most of our new work so anything you're working on out there that you're kind of keeping secret that you can like not tell anybody <laughs> just between you and I real quick um, like I said we're just trying to um, work with more businesses in town so hopefully you'll see more um, of us collaborating with like different um, boutiques in town possibly like cool locations of different um, businesses stuff like that guess you're gonna have to just uh, stay updated to see what we do. Awesome, thanks for coming yeah, in, Yeah, thank you're you very great. much. Excited for your future. Young talent right here in <laughs> South Lake Tahoe doing great things. I'm sure we'll see you on the cover of Vogue magazine uh, one of these hopefully days. Hopefully soon. Wouldn't that be cool? I would love that. I'll That's be your model. model. Uh, you had our first model on Vogue, I like it. As long as you can Photoshop me in and like make me more pretty. <laughs> All right. Just, uh, I love Photoshop. It Photoshop, making people like me beautiful since 19, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, well, thanks, Austin, for coming in. We'll be back. Adriel will have her daily update and her local love it on the show coming up next. And first of all, we're going to take a look at Maui Jim's sunglasses right now. So they're great glasses. It's the only ones I wear. Can't get any better than Maui Jim's. It's, it's all about quality of service and quality of product. I have to make sure that I have Maui Jim's each and every year. Two pairs of Maui's. Our big thing is is to make people happy. It looks good to me. So when it comes to a golf event like we have here today, each person gets individually treated. It's for you to get a pair of Maui Great. Jim sunglasses. Great, thank you very much. And uh, they walk away happy. People have uh, light color hair, dark hair, different shaped faces, and we bring an array of glasses, and, and we take our time to fit each person. And yep. that's big. I love them to death because, you know, the visibility, the clear, the perfect. Every time I wear them, awesome. It's terrific to have Maui involved. You know, these golfers come for a great day about charity. And when they get an item like a Maui Gym sunglasses, it just seems to perk up everybody's face, the smiles and everything else, because the value of a Maui Gym sunglass is just incredible. There you go. Thanks. Nice. I'll never buy a different pair of glasses. They're great. Word of mouth is everything. This is an item you keep forever. People know the quality of our product. Uh, they know the name brand. Uh, they get something. They're always surprised. They always say, do, do I get to keep these? They get excited about it. So that's kind of a cool thing. There's a lot of repeat customers from events to events. And um, they know what they're getting. They know what they're getting uh, costs some money. And they're excited about it. Fits your face pretty good. You like that? Yeah. I think what you... Uh, are associated with the brand. Thanks a lot. You stick with the brand. And I think I've had Maui Gyms now 20 years. Uh, I don't wear any other glasses, and I think it's because of our relationship that started 20 years ago uh, and continues today. We take all the trouble out of their hands. We make everybody happy. Oh, they're totally different. That's yeah. nice. Uh, we make all their, the people who pay to play in the event, uh, whether it's a member guest or a charity event or a corporate golf outing, we make sure that their customer is completely satisfied. Having Maui Jim here and having that particular brand and the conversation that happens afterwards, like, oh my God, I got a pair of Maui Jims, uh, is something you just can't, you can't buy. It is a perfect fit. We make sure that everybody is custom fit. The golfers know the brand. It's our demographic. If you're not doing the package, you're kind of missing the boat a little bit. Welcome back to the show. I'd like to thank Austin for coming on. Isn't he great? Very talented young man. I knew you'd like him. It makes me feel bad about myself because he's 20 years old doing all these great things but and I'm like 75. 79. 79. But you know, trying you, to do all these great things. You found what it was that your passion was for. Maui Gym Sunglasses. And that's true. I was going to say without your master's in biology, you wouldn't have found that your radio guy was the best way to go. You know what's the quickest path to TV and radio? A master's in biology. Or some Maui gyms. Or Maui gyms. Hey, Maui gym sunglasses. You just saw a quick look at them. 
my sunglass of choice for sure. I know, and if I could afford a pair, I would get one because I don't have any sunglasses right now. I broke them the other day. Well, After we'll the Corvette show, I broke them. <laughs> Jeff okay. Brumbaugh of Maui Gym is a strong supporter of Lake Tahoe. Lives right here in Zephyr Cove. Oh. And he constantly is promoting Maui Gym sunglasses. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, what, that Maui Gym, like I said, very strong proponent of beaches and lakeshore cleanups all over the area. Mm -hmm. Providing support. Saving your eyes. They have Polaris po Plus number two lens Actually, technology. Polarize Plus. Polaris. Polaris is a snowmobile, which you can enjoy here in the winter. Apparently, I've been in Idaho for too many years. I guess. But Maui Gym Sunglasses, absolutely phenomenal brand. Adrian, tell us a little bit about They are our local love it of the day. They are. They're amazing. We're going to see a whole bunch more tomorrow when we go to Stand Up Paddle, um, where that you can purchase your own Maui Gems. These are the ones that Drew likes. I think a little bit more feminine pair would be better for me. You know what they're called? What? I don't know. Let me look. The Jack Lanes. Nope. They're no. called the Lava uh, Flow. Ooh. I have a dress called Cool cooled lava from anthropology <laughs> but i mean i should wear it with the lava flow and the lava dress <laughs> some of the stuff you come up with i have a dress called that well, well that's okay. why he lets me sit so down do next i to have him. a dress called that okay i think we got shopped at the same place i think you just need another easy, 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 easy. <laughs> he's getting ready for the mail the review, mail review girl. saturday not today okay uh, so moving on what else you got? Derby girls. Let's hear it. So this weekend, I went to the Bijou Park on El Tahoe Boulevard across from the college and watched the scrimmage that went on, and it was amazing. So the girls, it was 78 degrees at the park. The girls, the Tahoe Derby names hosted the floodwater. Were they nice and sweaty? Would you like them to be uh, nice and derby sweaty? Girls. Sweaty derby girls. They, I mean, there's a clip where I'm like, you guys stink. And they're like, what are you talking about? I'm like, no, I mean, like, rank. Like, it was at the end when I went up to, like, let me take your picture. I was like, oh, oh, I forgot what that smells like. I almost, like, died. <laughs> they're athletes, Adra. They need to clean their gym bags, guys. <laughs> Come on, girls. So anyway, they played Floodwater. Floodwater is out of Roseville, Sacramento area. They had five Shasta Derby girls. And you remember Shasta. Mm -hmm. They played Tahoe Derby names. So they... Dames went up there, and, and we had bottom. that little MMA moment. Awesome. Yeah, where there was like the rough and tumble and ejections all over. So if you like fighting, go see some derby, because apparently it's been happening. We had our very own Vonda Kudovich of Shasta came down for us, and you'll see her in this clip coming up. At the half, Floodwater was 80 points to 17 Tahoe. We only had 17? Yeah. What did we have, like two girls on the track? Well, we had one Where's that the left in the middle. <laughs> She was like, I'm out of here. She's like, bur, 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 bur. She gone. just started skating around circles and just carried it out to the parking lot. <laughs> She's like, see you guys exactly later. what happened. I think, Peace I up. don't know. I was like, did that girl get ejected? They're like, no, she left. She said, oh. <laughs> just kept skating She just out. left. Okay. What did it's Coach Hammer have to say about this? Um, He was like really proud of his girl. So anyway, um, at the end... <laughs> At the end, um, really it was proud. 174 to 88. Tahoe normally does do better in the second half. It's just a known fact that once they're down, they're like, roar, coming back, you know, and they do. They try they do? really hard. Roar, coming back. They're like, roar. And, you know, so anyway, at the end, 174 floodwater, they were the victors. And uh, I did get a quote from Told You Twice, and uh, you'll see her giving a shout out today and as well on the piece. And she says that the Tahoe girls were listening and doing great. They listened and did great. And, but the away team had strong walls and hard hitters. They did have some hard hitters, I'll tell you that much. And some big girls, like tall, tall. Derby returns ta to Tahoe June 29th. We'll be having our bout there. Drew, with you, will be there. He'll be announcing <laughs> the Derby girls. So if we don't have enough girls to participate, do we borrow I, some of their girls? I'll, if, if they don't, I will put my skates Oh, on. you're crazy. I Come know. see Adria hit the track. <laughs> Only if needed. <laughs> Jason from Screaming Meg, I'm here watching the Derby Danes in the scrimmage. I want to give a shout out to Drew, and when I'm not here watching this, I like watching Wake Up Top of My name's Told You Twice, and I watch Wake Up Tahoe with Drew Murin, but I like Adrian better.
crowns and uh, outside rank, but it's huh? black top. So that's uh, what it's like. Oh, this is hot. Does well, it get I soft? Yeah. One second! I don't like it. Yeah. No thanks. Wake up, Tahoe. Uh, wake up, Tahoe. Hold on. I'm really I'm Monica Kudovich from Chester Roller Derby, and I'm watching Wake Up with Tahoe. <laughs> 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 Hello, Tahoe. 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 Hello, Tahoe.
And don't forget <laughs> to follow Jack Durst at, at Fabulous Tahoe, keeping you updated on his Twitter feed. I tell you what, mm -hmm. if you ever need to know anything going on, you just pull up your Twitter. Mm -hmm. Jack Durst has got He's it He's either written it or tell. retweeted it, I'll tell you that much. Or making it up. Wait, or that's making me. it up, yeah. I think, yeah, 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 yeah. Unless it's his anniversary and he took the day off from social media. Congratulations again to him. Six years. Most people never make it that far. I made it eight once. Eight years? <laughs> once. Not married. <laughs> we'll talk about that tomorrow. Thanks for watching Wake Up Tahoe. We'll be back tomorrow morning to wake you up once again here in Lake Tahoe. Have a good day, guys.